Hello again, everybody. Harry Boxer, the Technical Trader. It's Thursday, October the 13th. Uh, market had a kind of a mixed day today, but NASDAQ forged ahead. A lot of stocks that we follow had good days. Let's show you some of them. AKRX up 8.42% or 69 cents on a million and a half share traded. And you can see that on, if we scroll in, the stock has snapped back dramatically from the pullback to seven and the potential minor break of the trend line here. But back above the moving averages, back above lateral resistance today, spiking up. And you can see it very likely will be running to test the highs around nine and a half, possibly get up as high as 10, 10, 10 and a quarter short term. AUTH, a stock we've been following, but it's been really snapping back up nicely from 275 to 416 just in the last week. If you look at lateral resistance here, you'll see that uh, we've had the uh, highs earlier this year in um, February spiking up in the zone. So we have resistance here. If we get through this level, we may see something of a, on a longer term nature. This is a long term base pattern. There is a big gap in the zone here. And it looks like it's moving up into that gap. A move above here and a fill of this gap gets it up to six and a quarter. So let's call six, six and a quarter our next target. ESIC uh, also had a significant day um, the last few sessions. You can see it snapped back from the 390 area and today it got as high as 554. But the key is that it took out this lateral price resistance at around the 510 range and it spiked up to get as high as 554 before backing off to 533. Nevertheless, up four. 0.1% on another 600,000 shares. And it looks like we may be headed for a test of the 625-35 uh, range short term. Shipper GNK, we still like a lot, even though we made a swing trade and got out of here. Stock all the way back down to key support and trend line, bounced sharply back through the moving averages, declining top line. And now may be headed for a test of key resistance around nine and a half. My initial target, secondary target, 11 and 35, 11 and a half. MELA had a significant day. If you look back on the chart, you'll see that in my mind, there's key resistance in this zone going back uh, a year and a half. And if we get through here, and it looks like we did today, up 31 cents or 5%, 1.6 million traded. Now, if we get in close, you'll see that it went through this wedge pattern and up against lateral, through lateral price resistance, and it took out the spike high from September. I consider that significant. We may see the stock start to really Soar here if we can get some volume. Wouldn't be a shock to me if we got up towards eight, eight and a quarter, my short term target. Top 25 member MG continues to look great. Today popped $1.62 or nearly 8%. Um, 355,000 share traded for that. Not bad volume for a distant stock. You can see that this line of resistance was taken out with a thrust. Wouldn't shock me to see 24 short term. And on an intermediate term basis, based on a long term pattern. Um, I'm looking for a stock to get into the 26.7 zone, if not higher. Um, as you can see, the long-term pattern, this is a new all-time high. Good day for that today. Speaking of good days, MyTech had a good day. You can see on a weekly basis, it's popped out of the little falling channel. And um, for the week so far, up $1.37 or 15%. But I'm looking for more from MyTech. I think the stock has a chance of getting through resistance right here around the 1080 area. And if so, my next target is 13 and then 17, keep an eye on my tech. That's the weekly chart, and here's a look at the daily. You'll see on the daily chart, it's reached lateral price resistance right here. After pulling back in the morning and then spiking back up, today was a terrific day for that, with volume increasing to the biggest in about uh, three weeks. Nuance, N-U-A-N, nice day today, up another 92 cents or 4%, almost 5 million traded today. The stock moved out above this area we were concerned about into new multi-year high territory. Look at the all-time high chart. You'll see that this is to now at or above the 07 highs, and uh, which are also all-time highs. So this is a key area for nuance. And if we can blow through here, we can see the stock extend. However, it is a bit short term overbought. It's having come from 15 and a half to uh, 23 and a half, roughly in the last um, six, seven weeks, eight weeks. But this is a significant enough breakout that we could see it extend into the mid 20s here. ONXX, the last couple of days have been quite interesting. After dipping in the morning yesterday, we reversed sharply on a court ruling, and today broke out, adding another $1.37 or 4% on 3.3 million. Why have been strong the last two days as it broke out across key resistance? I'm expecting a test of the July high up around 38 short term. 
and beyond that, looking for something in the low to mid 40s. OPK had a big day today, 4.2 million traded, up nearly 5%. As you can see, the stock broke out over key resistance, coming out across this line, but is absolutely right now up against the double top in, Je in February and March, which if broken, could lead to a target around 6 and 3 quarters, 7, my next target for OPK. PCYC also looking pretty good here. You can see the long term pattern is fabulous. But after the big run up from March through July, it came down hard in August with many other stocks. But the snapback was terrific. And then platform to consolidate underneath the um, July highs. Today, up another 3.4% of 42 cents, a nearly a million. And it's right up against resistance. If we break through here, my target 16. Rex jumped. REX, $1.82 or 5% on 2.5 million as Goldman Sachs put out a buy on it today. That put it through key resistance here, and it may test my next target at 42 at the spike high from early August. Secondary target and immediate target at 46. SIMG, I wanted to show you this pattern. I like the left shoulder, head, right shoulder type of long term bottom. Here's your neckline. We're up against it right here. If we break out, look for a move that takes us up towards 8, maybe 9 on a short to intermediate basis. Simo is moving nicely after the snapback and consolidation near the highs today. It reversed off the early low at 1358 to close at 1450, up 54 cents or about 4%, three quarters of a million traded. But if you step back and look at the pattern, this entire consolidation here is a nice setup for a big thrust up towards 18 and then 22 and a half or thereabout. STAA continues its sharp snapback from 670, reaching 921 today. That's in a week. New high took out the September spike high. We're up against lateral resistance here. We may test that tomorrow around nine and a half, but I'm looking for this stock to be 11, 11 and a half short term. Triquin Semiconductor on some news that they're included in the Apple you know, iPhone um, spiked 25%, $1.46. That was on 22 and a half million shares. That broke it out across the climbing tops line, 50 day moving average. Maybe setting it up for a test of this eight and a quarter, eight and a half range that it hit uh, back in August and September. Um, there's a gap up in that range that if it fills, could get it up as high as 10 on a secondary basis. William Sonoma with a significant date today. Let's take a look at it. Lateral price resistance here and declining tops line here, both taken out the one fell swoop today. Um, the last three or four sessions, you can see that it's run back from 28 and a half up to nearly 36, hitting 35 and three quarters and closing just pennies off the high. Nice close, good volume, and strong technicals with the moving averages turning around here. Any pullback consolidation in this zone may be construed as a buying opportunity. And lastly today is Zoom, which certainly has zoomed from about a buck to two and a half just in the last five or six sessions. Uh, today's move significant enough because the declining tops line here was taken out as it was the 50-day moving average. And although a close 30 cents off the high was still up 36 cents or almost 20% or three quarters of a million. That's the biggest volume it's traded since June. I'm looking for more upside, perhaps a test of the 275 uh, range, and then three and a quarter, three and a half is my targets. <clears throat> That's it for tonight and this week. You guys have a good weekend. Talk to you Monday night.